So this is the first robot you should build with the brick pie. As you can see, it's uh, it's very it's super simple to build in terms of Lego. We have step by step instructions on our website for how to assemble this. It has only two motors, and they're both connected to the back of the brick pie in these two motor ports. It's powered by a 9 volt battery, which we'll attach here. You can see the Raspberry Pi down here. And you can see that we have four sensor ports that you can attach sensors to. This model is attached to the bottom of the Legos with the holes you can see on the case for the Raspberry Pi. It marries up quite neatly and you can build a great robot around that. I forgot to mention we have a caster wheel down here on the bottom. It just drags behind the robot as it rolls around um, on the ground. There are no sensors on this model, but if you wanted to put some on, you can put them in these four ports. One of the other features we're not going to use on this model are the two LEDs that come here, bright blue LEDs. These are great for debugging uh, programs as you go. We're powering both the Brick Pi and the Raspberry Pi with this 9 volt battery. The 9 volt goes into the Brick Pi, and the Brick Pi has a voltage regulator that brings the voltage down to 5 volts. And we took a micro USB cable and ran it from the output of the Brick Pi down into the Raspberry Pi. So we're now free from the wall. On this project, we've got a little Wi-Fi. If you can see that, you can see the little Wi-Fi dongle that's attached to via USB. There, the Python program is very simple. We've already enabled I2C on the Raspberry Pi, and this program runs when the Raspberry Pi powers up. You can find this program on our uh, GitHub on our GitHub re repository. The program logs the Raspberry Pi onto the local network and sets up a TCP server. So to control the ro robot, just start a connection on Raspberry Pi with the terminal program. Once I have that connection, I can control where the robot goes with the keypad. So to connect to the uh, Brick Pi, I'm going to go ahead and run PuTTY. <clears throat> I'm logging on to the IP that's set for it at port 5002. Control the brick pie with the keypad. I go eight for forward, and then hit return, and then five for stop. Four and six go left and right. Seven and nine merge right and left. Uh, two goes back, and five stops. And that is the Brick Pie.